Hi, my name is Colton Dion and I'm the Operations Manager here at Dion Oyster Company. Oyster farming is one of those things when it's really nice, it's really nice, um, like, like any kind of fisheries or outside. The best thing is you, you wake up in the morning, you're in nature, you actually get to see what nature does. Everything about oyster farming is incredibly sustainable. Um, there's no feed, we use the sun and the wind to, uh, to clean our cages, any kind of biofouling that happens. So it's, it's, it's just really neat to see nature doing its thing. So it takes roughly three years for an oyster to, from spawn to market. Um, in, in, in the wild it will take anywhere from four to six years, but when you put them in their optimal conditions we can shorten that up to three years. Roughly an inch of growth every year on the surface in oyster grow cages. And then generally at, at three inches is when we see our, our highest demand for oysters, a, a cocktail size oyster. So behind us here is Salt Bay. This is where we have our biggest lease, it's 15 hectares. You see the guys are working on the barge, that's a solar powered processing barge, where we have a vision grader and that's uh, where we size all our oysters before they get shipped out around the, uh, around the world. So we've been using suspended culture now for probably 15 years. Before that we had off bottom culture. Over the years, temperatures have, have increased a little bit around here, so we've, we've found some, some new uh, aquatic invasive species and we had to control those and we couldn't really do that with our traditional method of, uh, of off bottom. So we switched to the oyster grow system or suspended culture and what we're doing is we're controlling the invasive species or the biofallon that's naturally collected on the, uh, the cages. So what we do is we, we flip them and we leave them in, the, in what we call an air dry position for depending on the temperatures anywhere from, from two Three days is pushing it, but on average, two days, 48 hours. And what happens here is there's no cleaning agents. It's all sun and the wind. When you can catch a biofile and when they're so small, the sun and the, and the air will actually dry the, the, um, the organisms out without actually affecting the oysters. Oysters are incredibly resilient when it comes to being out of the water. But we, don't, we generally don't keep them out for longer than 48 hours just for safety precautions. Salt Bay is a prime location for oysters. Really, if you see oysters growing wild, nature has done its thing. You don't reinvent the wheel, don't, you know, go where, go where it's working already. 